They just announced what that Macy's, this major chain clothing store Macy's, will be closing nearly 150 stores no. due to declining sales, man. Yeah, the brick and mortar is dying. Uh, 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 no. Dang. Macy's, man. Dang. That's why they used to, they, Macy's like, I used to get all my cologne from Macy's, man. That is so sad. And that just lets you know how crazy, how bad of a shape the That's economy crazy. is in right now. Because you would not think in a million years that Macy's yeah. would not be making money. Right. So that go to show you like people just not really spending money like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I feel like they're not going to the mall like that. Mm. It's online shopping. You got to understand before online shopping, people was had to go to the mall. Right. You had to go. So those True. same people that were going to the mall every day swiping their cards, they can now do it from the comfort of their bed inside of their tub with bubble bath and a glass of wine. Like, yeah, who's true. going to, you know, when you have that comfort and you just got to pay for a little shipping? Well, you're already paying, you know, whatever you're paying. So shipping is just like a little tip, you know? You're like, okay. <laughs> yeah and don't get me wrong you know i appreciate the convenience that you know that online shopping has provided right. to us but i ain't gonna lie like i kind of miss you know going out to the mall i love it i love, it. I love thrifting Espe especially like when you thrifting because for me i need to see what the material feel like i like to you know smell on it you know just just get like a little relationship with it going mm. so you know i and, and just the aspect of seeing different things in person because even when you buy stuff online you know you're not really able to connect to it completely like mm. if it was in front of you Fresh. so i love it but you gotta understand we're dealing with an error or you know a generation a couple generation of children who grew straight into the online shopping world Mm -hmm. So that was never something that they got to appreciate the luxury of, like of really just going to the mall. Yeah. And maybe it may be something they may ex want to experience early when they just want. Or, I mean, later on when they feel like you know they just want to check it out and learn something. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, what they know first, like I'm pretty sure a lot of people, a lot of young these folks, first purchase was probably done online yeah. versus in a mall in the store versus us. Our first purchase was in the store. In the store. In the store. In the store. And I remember, like, Macy's was one of those, like, one of those stores growing up. You be like, man, I can't wait to get my money up so I can shop in Macy's. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? This was an era where you go in Macy's, all of the black brands was in there. The Sean Jones right. was in there. They represented it. They like, did represent. Like, we had a huge representation in our culture in Macy's and that was dope to see you know and if you grew I grew up in the hood and in the country so if you grew up like how I grew up you know it was good to see those type of representations mm -hmm. in a store clothing store chain as big as Macy's man right. so that was dope man so for like for them to be closing down 150 stores, man, that's not man. nothing to sneeze at, man. Because 150 stores, man, that's a lot of locations. I mean, if it financially makes sense, would you? Right, mean? right, right. Because if they if they online store making more money than them people going into, and you know, you got to think about overhead charges when you are doing brick and mortar. You got to think about them overhead charges. You got to think about. You know that 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 parking lot. You got to think about paying employees to be there to run it. Right, you know, right, right. Fact. You know what I'm saying? The guy people, because you're gonna have to have a lot more people in 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 there than you do inside of um um in, an online in, in store. Yeah, right, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, and then you got to think about yeah, all them overhead. It's just like having another house for your business that's just a whole nother mortgage a whole nother investment that if you could take out that cost from having an online platform mm. okay you gonna cut that cost they everyone i mean i feel like where these bigger corporations are doing which you know i want to say if they're not tired and or have grown fatigue of the process of the game let me say more so that then 
they just converting themselves into how to be more um, lucrative to what they know works. They hiring mm. the experts and so, the experts are, 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 are tech savvy. And that's so, something they figured out because I can tell you one thing, they may have closed stores, you know, locally for us. It's a, it's more for us in our childhood. We crying about it. But for them, you know, when they looking at it, they like, well, shoot, my expert is telling me, you know, put out these newsletters so that I could reach people faster and get people to buy to sell yeah. online real quick. You know what I'm saying? They going to hop on that. And because Macy's ain't slow down with the emails. I can tell you that. Right. Subscribe. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> not slow down with the they emails. They slow down with the emails. As a matter of fact, they gonna it, remind you of a sale every other day. So and then it be mad stuff that you can't get in the store. They be like, "Hey, you gotta go online and we'll send it to you." Exactly, and you can get more exclusive things online, and it makes it to where people who do shop online they're more definite of their choice versus in the store. They feel more right. of a luxury to give it back or whatever the case might be. When you buy something online, you 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 gonna have to. You you know, you you made a choice most of the time when you shop, and you really right. you really went back and forth on that choice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So they know what they're doing. They Damn, know what they're doing. Man. They going like I said, if they haven't grown fatigue as just wanting to be part of the game, period, which I don't see. Um, they just converting over into a more lucrative space where they can continue to to to, to grow. And sustain more so as a company versus like just wasting having money go down the grain. I mean, it don't matter when you, you know, whether it's a hundred k, ten k, don't matter when you losing money, you losing money. Right, 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 Period. right, right, man. Hey, man, be salute to all the little makeup artists that be working them with Macy's too, man. Yeah, and man. then you got makeup. Uh, yeah. I forgot about the makeup artists. That's what I'm saying, artists. man. And don't be I mean, like I'm the saying, biggest you freaks. You got all the employees that are like, you know. Don't be like the biggest freaks too, man. Like. Like some of the best, like nah, I ain't even gonna get into all that, man. <laughs> best salute, check, 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 check. Best salute to y'all, oh. man. M U A. Nah. Why you not entertained? Oh you my God, man. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Go hit that subscribe button and every single day more videos like this will be uploaded. Hey, thank you again. Hey.